host, Teddy Feinberg, Brooks Stockburger, coming at you from our new location uh, off East Idaho Avenue here at the Sun News. We're talking local sports. Brooke, let's kick things off by talking New Mexico State Aggie signing day. They bulk up on the offensive line. Your thoughts? Yeah, good mix between uh, junior college players and prep players. A couple kids from in-state. Um, as we were talking before, you and I, they have uh, nine players listed as linemen. Some of them, a lot of those defensive linemen. And that would be good because that's an area where, where depth is really felt. And depth is always a problem at New Mexico State. You can get good frontline players, but it drops off when you get to the second rounders and third third stringers. And so they, they need to bulk up on that line. This certainly things get shallow quickly. I, I definitely thought they could have addressed, addressed the front seven of their defense linebackers, defensive linemen. I believe they only had nine sacks last year. That's not enough, and they couldn't stop the run. But the Aggies did bulk up on the O-line. I certainly think when we're talking football here and we're talking New Mexico State football in particular, you can never have too many bodies on the offensive line, and they got to fill it one hole at a time. There's a lot of needs on this team, but hopefully Coach Walker can get them moving in the right direction. Uh, we will move on also to the prep level. Brandon Betancourt, he signed with his hometown New Mexico State team, but his Mayfield Trojan teammate, Matt Romano, goes to Michigan State. It's a nice accomplishment for Matt. Yeah, it really is. Step out and go to a Big Ten program, and one of the better Big Ten programs mm -hmm. right now. So, you know, he's 300, he can go up there, uh, hit the ground running as a freshman. He'll probably uh, sit a little bit, learn a little bit the position, sure. and then um, get out there and maybe, who knows, we'll see him on Sunday someday. Yeah. It's happened before. We've had a Mayfield kid go to Colorado in the 90s. Uh, Darius Holland played for Colorado, ended up in the NFL, and ended up playing in the Super Bowl. Yeah, he sure did. I, I think Matt, at 300 pounds, he says the coaches, and 6'5", the, the coaches like his size, they like his speed. Uh, he could probably even stand the game another 25, 20, 25 pounds, and it wouldn't look over the top. He's He's a big kid, and we certainly wish him nothing but the best. Big Ten, like you said, he's going against NFL prospects on a weekly basis. It's it's going to be a tall, a tall bill to fill, but um, we do wish Matt the best, and we think he'll do well. Um, let's touch briefly also while we're on the prep level with the Oñate Knights, number one in the state. It's it's a nice accomplishment for Oñate. They have a great bat backcourt. Tim Jacobs and uh, Terrell DeRuin stand out with their guard play, but I, I talk about the history of prep basketball here. Has there been too many number one teams around? No, not very many. Cruz has had some really good teams in the late 90s, and Inyate with Kelsey Crooks and, you know, Tommy uh, Mayfield, they've had some good teams, but uh, this team seems to be very special, and especially over there at Inyate, you can just see the fans getting a lot excited, a lot of excitement at their games. So. Uh, folks, thanks for checking us out. You can catch us at lcsun-news.com, Twitter, Facebook. We're also featured prominently there, but have a great week, and keep following the sports scene. See you later.